What's good, my people? Today, we're building an expansion team around Prime, Steph Curry, 2016 Warriors, and Victor Wimbanyama. So now, let's go to the expansion, protect players. We are called the Bronx Brawlers. The Brooklyn Nets are the worst team in the NBA, so we take them out of, you know what I'm saying, Brooklyn, took them out of the league, and moved to the Bronx. Now, every team gets to protect eight players from their roster. Whoever they don't protect goes into the draft pool, and we can use these players to build our team around Wimby and Steph. So the Bucks, they don't protect Chris Middleton. I just want to go through the team to see which teams actually, you know what I'm saying, who gets protected and who doesn't. Paul George is protected in Philly. Just trying to see any other star players because you got Steph and Wimby. I might build a big three and then do role players for the rest of the time because after season one, I'm going to be able to trade and all that stuff. Let's see. Not seeing anybody there. Like I said, Chris Middleton from the Bucks. Oh, the Bulls do not protect Zach Levine. I like Zach Levine. Putting him next to Wimby and Steph Curry. Lonzo Ball got protected. Cleveland Cavaliers. Everybody's good there. Of course, the Celtics protect all these guys. Clippers, Derrick Jones, Trey man the Grizzlies let Gigi Jackson go who just broke his foot but okay I swear to God I thought Derrick Rose retired bro but obviously not the Atlanta Hawks Larry Nash Jr. is the only one wow the Miami Heat don't protect Jimmy Butler he is an 89 overall but that is pretty interesting to me that they don't protect Jimmy Butler Miles Bridges from Charlotte John Collins Jordan Clarkson Sacramento Kings okay the New York Knicks don't protect OG Ananobi OG Ananobi is coming on over to the Bronx Brawlers I'm telling you now Lakers did what they were supposed to do the Magic don't protect Contavious Caldwell Pope. PJ Washington, Najee Marshall from the Mavericks. Let's see. Denver protects everybody. Indiana Pacers don't protect Siakam. That's crazy. I'm surprised the Pelicans protected Brandon Ingram because, you know, they've been wanting to get rid of him. Jalen Duran doesn't get protected in Detroit. That's crazy, too, because he definitely would be protected. The Houston Rockets letting Fred Van Fleet go. The Spurs are not letting Wimby go, but I got to do the, you know, move him off the team, bring him to our team up type of deal. The Phoenix Suns let Bradley Beal go, and they let Grayson Allen go. Okay, okay. KC, nobody that we would probably want. Rudy Gobert. Do I want to put Rudy next to Wimby? I mean, I could do that, but I don't know. Portland, nobody really here in Portland. And then the Warriors, I got to do the same thing with Steph Curry, but they protect everybody else. The Wizards stink, but they're not protecting Malcolm Brogdon. So, I mean, we could build a decent team here, but the Bronx Brawlers currently, we have no players. All right, so we're on the clock. First player that we are putting next to Steph Curry and Victor Wimbanyama. I said I wanted to do a big three, but I just don't know. Do I want to do it with Jimmy Butler? Because that's really... A a championship immediately and we would only have Jimmy for one year so I mean I could go Jimmy Steph and Wimby or I can go you know Wimby Steph OG and Anobi I can draft anybody like I'm not limited to who I can draft but I don't want to build a crazy super team because I literally can draft Jimmy Siakam Bradley Bill Chris Middleton Rudy like I could draft everybody and put them next to Wimby and Steph and it's a super team but I don't necessarily want to do that so I mean I'll take Jimmy Butler we'll do Jimmy Butler for one year so we'll draft Jimmy let's see we'll take take for pick number two what is that that's our starting small forward so we need a shooting guard and we also need a center i could go zach levine i mean he's an 83 overall he's not an all-star he's not a superstar he's a good player but i mean he's not you know once you get down under they had jimmy at an 89 siakam's at 88 bradley bills at 86 once you start getting down here though these guys are just role players role player role player role player role player role player none of these guys are taking over you feel me franchises so give me zach levine and we'll start still Steph, Zach, Jimmy, Wimby, and then give me a center. I could go Rudy Gobert, but I know that Rudy Gobert is going to go on a decline. Who's not going to go on a decline is Jalen Duran. So we're going to take Jalen Duran right here at three. That is our starting five. Now we got to build out a bench and I'm going to do this the right way. Like I said, I'm not going to cheat the process here and just build the ultimate super team. So off the bench, point guard slot. I like TJ McConnell. I also like Malcolm Brogdon. Malcolm Brogdon this past season averaged 16, four and six. Ooh, four. Oh yeah, Malcolm Brogdon. Come on. Join the team backup point guard let's get my backup two guard to back up zach levine i like jordan clarkson i also like grayson allen and contavious caldwell pope so actually i need somebody to score off the bench though i don't know who i would bring off the bench to score for us og ananobi is a good defender og could probably come off my bench as well give me caldwell pope then give me og ananobi right okay that's decent right there and let me get a backup power forward for victor Wimbayama. i could go jeremy grant but i really don't like his game that much who is this Aaron Wiggins, okay. Harrison Barnes, I'm seeing names. Kyle Anderson, decent name. Cody, Caleb Martin, Grant Williams. This is very 
very interesting, but I think I like PJ Washington off my bench at the four spot. And then back up center to back up Victor Winbanyama. I'm not sure if I want John Collins, Zach Collins. Steven Adams gets hurt too much for me, so I don't trust Steven Adams in the background. PJ Washington spaces the floor. I like shooting centers though, so I don't know, but Luke Cornette probably wouldn't get the job done either. Hmm, we might have to go Steven Adams though. Big body screens for Steph. Good rebounder next to Wimby. I mean, I, li I like Steven Adams, so we'll take Steven Adams and then I only got, it says I got, what is this? One, two, three, six more picks, but I'm not using all of these players. So for the last six picks, I'm literally just gonna go down here to like the 70s and just pick people to fill out our roster. A lot of these guys are probably be on like one year deals anyway, so it really doesn't matter who I pick to put down here. Like a guy like Kevin Herter, but he has two years, 34 million on his contract. Cody Martin, I mean, it's decent. Two years, 16 million. Sam Hauser, the Celtics gave him five years, 48 million, and he's still here. But I don't know. Let me get Torian Prince. I guess these guys are not gonna play. So everybody that I'm drafting right now won't even see the floor. I like my boy D Rose. D Rose won't see the floor either. I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying? This is not prime Derek Rose. So he definitely would not see the floor for us. Uh, let me see. Lonnie Walker is cool. So I got a point guard, a shooting guard, a small forward. Give me another power forward, I guess. Somebody down here that stinks because they're not gonna play. Kenya Martin Jr. is cool. Then let me get two terrible players that I have to replace and put Steph in, what you call it, Wimby on my team. So Jamal Schneider. Just gonna add him just because he's here. And we're gonna go get another 60 overall player or something like that. Oso Igadaro. And because the rookie draft classes are not in yet, like I can't get Cooper Flag in, and we're just gonna auto generate the rookies. Chris Paul plans to retire after this year. I mean, he can go on his farewell tour. That's cool. All right, so this is the Bronx Ballers Steph Curry, Victor Mbayama, Jimmy Butler, OG Ananobi, Zach Levine, Jalen Duran, Malcolm Brogdon, PJ Washington, Steven Adams, Contavious Caldwell, Pope, Torian Prince, Derek Rose, Lonnie Walker, and Kenya Martin Jr. I think this is a decent team. This is not too overpowered right here. I made a decent team. All right, here's something I noticed. My head coach for our roster, he literally has two stars at coaching, a star and a half at scouting. You know what I'm saying? He's just a bad coach. So he's fired. I'm sorry. He's fired. We're firing him. We're hiring a new coach. My guy, Michael Stauffer, who I hired last year when I did one of these uh, expansions or whatever. So we're going to give Michael Stauffer four years, 11 million. We're going to drop him down just a little bit to 11 million, make him an offer, and he's accepted our offer. So we have a new coach in Michael Stauffer. Here's our game plan. Let's see what it's looking like. Steph, Zach Levine, Jimmy Butler, PJ Washington, Victor Wimbanyama. Wow. So the game said PJ should start. And we're running. Oh, no. This is an 11-man rotation. No, we're not doing that. We are running 10. I think we should run 10. Steven Adams, Caldwell Pope. So D-Rose, Torian Prince. Those guys are out the rotation. I feel like this is decent. I feel like this is a decent 10-man rotation for our first season. Let's simulate down to the first 20 games, though, and see how we looking. You feel me? Whoa. You are being offered the following trade. I am declining that trade, and I'm actually finna cut off computer trade offers because because I built my team for a reason. You guys are not supposed to be offering me trades. So we're gonna cut that off right now and get down to the last 20 games or the first 20 games and see how we're looking as a unit. And I'm liking the way that we starting off. I'm not gonna lie to y'all, eight and two through our first 10. So let's see what we're like at our first 20. And I ain't gonna lie, I think the simulation portion of these videos is moving a lot faster. Last year, this screen took a little minute to do. We are 16 and four, bro, to start the season off. The Bulls are right behind us though at 16 and five, but who is hooping through the first 20 games? I do got injuries on. And yeah, Jimmy Butler. Look, <laughs> look at Jimmy Butler being hurt already, bro. Like this is, is insane that Jimmy's already hurt. Now, where is my stats at? Steph is leading us in scoring though, as I expected. 27 a game, eight assists. Wimby, Jimmy is hurt for two weeks. All right, that's not bad. Derrick Rose getting some minutes here. Starting lineup changed a little bit. So since Jimmy is hurt, what does our starting lineup look like? PJ Washington is cold. That is not good basketball right there. OG's in the starting lineup. Okay, cool. We're gonna get down to the all-star break, see what's shaking. I'm not gonna make any trades this season. We're gonna play our first season out. I'm not doing free agency either. I'm letting the computer run the whole free agency thing. I suck at signing free agents because I don't really pay attention to the whole salary cap thing so i'm just gonna make the trades and operate from there i trust my staff and making off-season decisions all right i like what i'm seeing here 41 and 14 record at the all-star break that's great basketball first in the eastern conference i'm telling y'all i'm building wow never mind minnesota's 45 and 10 i was gonna say i'm building a championship roster to get us started but minnesota might have something to say about that player stats jimmy's hurt broken kneecap 46 weeks i think that's why the miami heat decided not to bring him back because jimmy can't even stay healthy for a season. PJ Washington, he's out four to six weeks. Steph is hooping though. 24 points, eight assists, 40 or 49, 41, 98. Victor Wimbanyama. 
20 and 11 five assists two blocks 33 percent from the three-point line he can get a little bit better i'm pretty sure steph made the all-star game though just to double check all-star participants yes steph made it and wimby made it so cool we got two all-stars we're first in the eastern conference we should be poised for a good season i don't know if steph or wimby wins mvp i still think that 2k gives the mvp to luca because that's just what they do so yeah we're gonna see but jimmy butler being hurt might mess up our championship run even though our record looks good i told y'all luca was gonna win mvp 31 11 and 10 51 from the field 81 from free throw 42 from three zachary richardson takes rookie of the year a man is six man i still don't understand why this says six player of the year and not six man i don't know if that's a change that the nba made 15 percent from three is absolutely abysmal basketball that's crazy but okay when gets depoy and most improved i don't know how he got most improved player as a rookie i don't really know but we'll take it tyler hero clutch player chris finch is coach of the year minnesota goes 65 and 17 and we went 60 and 22 so minnesota is probably who we'll see in the nba finals this is all nba first team all nba second steph curry prime steph curry makes all nba third along with lebron james who's 99 years old our defensive first is here our defensive second is right there now let's get into it we finished first in the eastern conference we had to right with a 60 and 22 record wow everybody else in the east sucks compared to us 60 and 22 west 65 and 17 for minnesota Minnesota. Sacramento is 51 and 31. So it looks like we'll be playing Minnesota in the NBA finals as long as we don't have any injuries. Wow, Jimmy Butler is healthy going into the playoffs. We have a healthy roster going into the playoffs. That is what I like to see. Detroit makes the playoffs as the eighth seed with Kay Cunningham, Jada Nassar, Tobias, Paul Reed, Clarkson. Okay, we're going to simulate game one, game two, game three. Wow, Detroit picked up a win. Simon or Simone Fedicin, Fed Fonta, Fonta Chio. Simone, Simon, Fonta Chio, whatever. 22 points, 7 for 11 smacked this okay Steph had 27 Jalen Duran 21 and 5 versus his old team Wimby 16 and 9 but the Pistons did get that win there they got another win so it's 2-2 do I have to go to the Simcast and hope we don't lose a game 5 to the Detroit Pistons like I don't know if somebody got hurt but game 5 versus the Pistons oh no we're blowing them out I thought it was gonna get a little tricky but we're blowing them out we take game 5 which is cool we should take game 6 and we do we play the New York Knicks who was still the Villanova Knicks so we just took OG and Anobi from them and they happen to still be the fourth seed with an okay team so we'll see what happens simulate the round minnesota swept memphis so yeah we're looking like we're gonna play the timberwolves in the finals if we can make it because we're losing games like this to the knicks by 15 where jalen brunson and julius randall are literally having their way so i don't know if we can't stop those guys 2-0 2-1 2-2 okay all right 3-2 let's do it let's do it we came back okay i was a little nervous for a second now we got cleveland 2k still loves cleveland obviously craig porter jr i watched him play in summer league he was terrible the game that i watched he was terrible donovan mitchell i don't see darius garland did they trade garland or is he hurt whoa where's darius garland at for the cleveland cavaliers did they trade him oh he got hurt okay out for the season oh we should be cleveland then no darius garland we should get past cleveland 2-0 oh i was finna say 3-0 oh, let's see 3-1 4-1 yeah we're playing minnesota in the nba finals like i thought anthony Edwards, goodness gracious 35 6 and 3 also three steals 60 80 50 in the uh what is that western conference finals Wimby takes eastern conference finals mvp and now we are in the nba finals versus the timberwolves game one goes to minnesota and had 42 8 and 7 rudy had 18 and 12 steph 25 and 11 brogdon had 20 wimby had 12 and 8 okay game two we take game two that's what i like to see ant 27 steph 24 all right game three minnesota game four wow we're going to game five game five in the nba finals is what we came to see bronx brawlers minnesota tim wolves we're literally smacking them i thought we was actually going to see some good basketball being played here and it's not happening whoa they're literally whoa 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 eight point game 11 okay i don't know how they like came back but it was looking tough they had a 39 point third quarter but it was looking scary for a minute no jimmy got hurt again jimmy can't stay healthy bro what is wrong jimmy he's out for the season oh my goodness i'm going back to the simcast and see what happens we lose jimmy butler in the nba finals but is this going to be a close game to where we could win the chip right here or are minnesota going to push it to game seven no jimmy butler is tough five point game one point game with three minutes we got to hop in not gonna lie got to all right this bronx brawlers court actually looked pretty decent i ain't gonna lie to y'all the court looked decent we got malcolm Brock in Victor Wimbanyama, OG Ananobi, Zach Levine, and Jalen Duran is in the game right now. Okay, so Steph is not in the game. We're going down to Wimby versus Nari to get us going. Wimby, tough layup. He missed it. It's only a one-point game. If we win right here, we win the NBA championship. If Minnesota wins, we go to a game seven. Rudy with the ball. We love to see Rudy trying to play offense. All right, Nas Reed. I just watched some clips on him on Twitter going crazy against like Kevin Durant and Gilbert Arena's son. Yeah, it's looking scary out here. Please give me a stop on Ant Malcolm Brogdon. Four seconds on the shot clock. Give me a stop. Two, one, Ant pulls up. Great contest. Ant on a fast break. Stop him. Slow him down. Get in front. Cut him off. 
Wow, I thought they were gonna call a foul there. All right, Steph is in the game. I see Jimmy Butler in the game. I promise I thought Jimmy was hurt. I mean, I guess not. He got 15, three, four, and four, three for 11. I thought Jimmy was hurt, but he's in the game. So Steph, Jimmy, Wimby, OG, and that's Caldwell Pope in the game. I like this lineup. Two defenders, two scores. Then Jimmy is like do it all guy type of ordeal but the fact that i'm not seeing you know what i'm saying steph and wimby have the ball in their hands for a good amount of this possession when we're down by one steph tough three-pointer missed it wimby get the board no he doesn't 2k i thought y'all fixed it to where spacing is better now cats cutting an ant's way ant shooting crazy pull-ups it's bad ball being played on both sides right now but we got to do something so we can win this chip steph wide open three knockdown that's what i'm saying that's what i'm talking about we want to see good basketball come over here Nas read ball screen come off the screen come on kcp what you doing okay and pull up a three. He missed. Good board. 57 seconds on the clock. We got a score right here. Wimby push dribble. Oh, okay. I thought Wimby was finna get active. Caldwell Pope drops it to Wimby over Mike Conley. Good layup. If he would have missed that, bro. All right, four point game. We got to get a stop right here. I need to see a stop because if Ant hits a three, Minnesota gets some momentum and then it could get tricky. So Ant coming off the screen, guarded by KCP. Two guys that went to the University of Georgia. Two Atlanta guys. I got to see something. Let me see. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. I knew it was finna happen. I knew it was finna happen. Oh my God, I knew he was finna go get him a tough bucket. That's crazy. So we'll see what happens. Wimby's trying to set Steph a screen, but he's not coming up to actually set the screen. Steph over Anthony Edwards. Good bucket, Steph. This is prime Steph right here. Don't give up a three. Don't give up a three. Don't give up a thank you. Thank you we didn't give up a three. We got that NBA championship on lock. Yes, sir. We win the NBA championship in our first season, 125 to 119, unless Nas Reed scores his bucket right here, but I don't think he will. He doesn't. We take the NBA championship, bro, in my first season of building a team around Prime Steph Curry and Victor Wimbanyama. Steph finished the game with 30 points, 7 boards, 9 assists. Wimby had 18 points, 11 boards, and 2 assists. Bronx Brawlers have won the NBA championship, and Stephen Curry gets the finals MVP, averaging 28, 4, and 10, shooting 49, 96, 39 from 3. Player retirements, LeBron is gone, Chris Paul is gone. I mean, Russell Westbrook is out of here. Derrick Rose has finally retired. So we lost some good guys this season, man. We're going to skip the draft lottery because the rookies are not here. We're just going to go into the next season, see what it looks like, see what our roster looks like, see if we need to make any trades, try to go back-to-back -back NBA championships. I think that's possible depending on, you know what I'm saying, what our roster looks like. Jimmy Butler might have to go, though, because he gets hurt too much. James Harden plans to retire after this year. That is fine. We kept Jimmy. So Steph, Wimby, Jimmy. Wow, Wimby is now a 94 overall. OG, Jalen Duran, Zach, PJ, Caldwell, Pope, Martin, Noel, Jordan McLaughlin, Josh Richardson. Okay, so we signed some people, drafted some people, kept our big three intact with Jimmy Butler. So I mean, I guess we can look at the game plan and see what we're looking like. Starting the lineup looks like it's gonna stay the same. I do wanna drop this down to eight man rotation though because we don't have a good solid 10 right now. And that is fine. KJ Martin doesn't need to play. Eight man rotation. We'll get down to the trade deadline. And then if I gotta make any trades, you feel me? We'll do that. All right, I'm at the trade deadline, 32 and 19. So definitely worse than we were last year. 32 and 19, we're fourth in the Eastern Conference right now. Mavericks are first in the West. I mean, let's just see who's hooping and who's stinking it up. OG Ananobi is hurt, but what's the injury? He's day to day. Wow, after a torn right calf muscle. Steph is averaging 33 and 10, bro. Wimby, 25 and 12. I mean, Jimmy's here. He's played all 50 games. Games. he hasn't gotten hurt he's averaging 16 5 and 6 and he's shooting 42 percent from three so he might actually keep uh jimmy butler zach levine 38 percent from three he's hooping i don't know i'm gonna feel i'm gonna fill it out i'm gonna fill it out and i'm gonna see what we can get because they're hooping but we're fourth in the east and i don't really like the fact that we're fourth in the east so let's just see what type of trade value might be here for jimmy butler chris middleton and bobby portis is not good don't want vucevic don't want miles bridges who y'all know me i love Lori marketing I love Lori Marketing. What is he doing though? 16, 6. I mean, same thing, but that's a bigger, small four. We can go bigger there with Lori. Julius Randle. Uh, ooh, Franz Wagner. Franz Wagner, 35% from three, but he's averaging 21, 4 and 4. Michael Porter Jr., no way. So, okay, Brandon Ingram. 17, 5 and 4, 51, 36. That's not bad. Garrison Matthews, I'm not a big fan of. Tobias Harris, we're not doing it. Wow, we can get Carl Anthony Towns for Jimmy Butler. We can get Cat for Jimmy. So, what are we doing? Steph, Zach, 
somebody. Cat and Wimby? Mmm, I gotta take that. I know this Jalen Clark and Kenya Martin Jr. don't look good, but Kenya Martin wasn't in our rotation anyway. Let me get this Carl Anthony Towns. I know how to make trades. You know what I'm saying? My NBA. I know how to I know how to look at salary cap on trades. I just don't know how to do it in free agency. Yeah, give me that. Carl Anthony Towns, welcome to the team. Unless I try to flip you for something else. Let's see. Oh, it say I can't watch this. Don't worry about it. It say I can't trade him because he was just traded. We're cutting that off because in the NBA, you can trade somebody and then trade somebody the next day. So we're going to figure it out. Carl Anthony Towns, what could we flip you into if we wanted to? We can flip you into Kawhi Leonard, who's averaging 19. Kawhi is better than Jimmy Butler. We'll put that out there now. Ugh, Jamal Murray, De'Aaron Fox, Julius Randle, CJ McCollum, Scotty Barnes. Wow. Scotty Barnes is averaging 22, 9, and 4, shooting 49, 37. Oh, I'm not trading Jalen Duran, though, for uh, Jaco Pertl. Not happening. Sangoon, Rudy Gobert, Nas Reed, DeAndre, DeAndre Ayton, and Jeremy Grant. I mean, worse center, but you get more help with Jeremy Grant and Andrew Wiggins, Draymond. No, I think we keep Carl. I think we keep Carl. So if we're keeping Carl, let's see our starting lineup. Zach Levine, Caldwell Pope right now. We, I mean, do we really need a three? Kind of, sort of. But I mean, let's see what Zach Levine, what his trade value looks like. Malik Monk, Michael Porter Jr. Okay, no, we're keeping Zach Levine. There's literally nobody there that I would just trade him for. But we just swapped out Jimmy Butler for Carl Anthony Towns. And I feel like that's good basketball. PJ Washington, does he have any trade value? Hmm, we can go Bobby Portis. 12 points a game, eight boards. Ooh, 29% from three. We are not going with Bobby Portis. We don't need any of that bad shooting over here. Now, everybody else doesn't look like I'm seeing anything that I like. Trey Murphy, nine points, 37 from three, nine points, 29 from three. We might get Trey Murphy on the swap out. Dylan Brooks, no way. Grayson Allen, hmm, Grayson Allen, nine points. But Grayson Allen's a shooting guard. And if I'm gonna, ooh, Nas Reed, 16 points, 38%. Yeah, I might take Nas Reed because I could put Nas at power forward. Hmm, do I want Nas? Nas Reed or do I want do I want Nas Reed or yeah I want Nas Reed I was gonna say do I want Nas Reed to Trey Murphy but I th definitely think we want Nas Reed oh wait a minute yeah Nas Reed welcome to the roster let's check our game plan out real quick you're coming off the bench and that's perfectly fine but to be honest I would shake this up I put Wimby at the three and put Carl at the uh four or the center then put Nas Reed there but that's okay I mean we're running a eight man rotation with Jordan McLaughlin getting some minutes and that's only because OG Anobi is hurt so I think that's good ball right there let's simulate through the regular season see what we look like can we go back to back championships i think we just made some good moves at the trade deadline all right luca 29 points 10 boys 10 assists back to back mvps the white elwards don't know who that is rookie of the year kuzma gets six man of the year wimby with another deep poi. rob dillingham hope most improved player steph curry gets the clutch player of the year jason kidd and the mavericks go 66 and 16 all nba first we got steph there steph average 32 5 and 10 50 40 90 season that's great basketball wimby on all nba second 23 11 4 two blocks a game 32% from three. We still got to make him a better three-point shooter. You feel me? But we're looking decent. Let's simulate the play-in and look at us being first in the Eastern Conference. My trades literally boosted us up from fourth to first. We were tied with Indiana, but we won the tiebreaker. And we play an eight seed in Miami Heat in the first round with nobody because we took Jimmy Butler. They still got Tyler Hero though, right? No, whoa, whoa, no Tyler Hero either. Hmm interesting so miami game one y'all win though is it gonna be tricky like this towns 32 and 13 curry 31 Wimby 16 can we get a gentleman sweep and like not lose another game wow miami 2-0 2-1 2-2 okay 3-2 miami 3-3 we're going to game seven in the first round with the miami heat i'm not liking it and the heat come out the gates running let me find out my trade for carl looked good on paper but it didn't look good in the playoffs never mind i lied we're going to the next round 145 to i think that's at like 90 or something is anybody hurt? We don't have anybody hurt. OG Ananobi is back in the fold. But what is our rotation? Oh, he's starting at the three. Hmm, okay. That's a good ball right there. Our eight-man rotation is actually good. Oh, wait, we don't have a backup point guard that's getting minutes. So Steph is literally doing everything. I did not realize that I didn't have a backup point guard, but that's okay. We're going to see what happens. 2-0, 3-0, 4-0. We're back. I'm trying to figure out how Minnesota is still making it to the Western Conference Finals after we took their two best players. 3-1 for us, 4-1 for us. Minnesota is literally in a game five with Dallas right now. Dallas is up 3-2. Dallas makes it to the NBA Finals. Luka gets Western Conference MVP. Steph gets Eastern Conference MVP. But the Minnesota Timberwolves fault bro rob is playing better i mean i did give him jimmy but i just didn't think that they would be back in the western conference finals i don't even know what they finished the year as wow they finished 53 and 29 okay we got the mavericks game one goes to dallas by 24 points kyrie irvin how did they get malcolm brogdon oh brogdon left us and went to dallas look at malcolm brogdon ring chasing one one two one three one yes sir we're gonna beat the dallas mavericks and go back to back nba championships i like it i mean simcast is looking kind of shaky right now but i like what i'm looking 
looking at. 11 point game. Yeah, yes sir, we got it. Back to back NBA championships for the Bronx Ballers. Call me general manager of the year. Stephen Curry gets the finals MVP and good basketball have been played in today's video. Appreciate y'all for stopping by and sticking through. Make sure y'all drop a like, hit that subscribe button and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.